guys, it's Laura. I have a very exciting video for you today. Today I am sharing my first unboxing for the Wild Hair Kit Club. And the Wild Hair Kit is a totally customizable kit club where every month you tell them what things you're into, what things you want to stay away from, and what upcoming projects you're going to have. And they send you a totally customized kit to go along with everything that you told them. So it's a really cool kit club. Not everybody gets the same stuff every month. It is totally customized and it's cool because from your style profile that you submit on their website, they send you things that they know you're going to like because you've told them the kind of things that you like. But it's a total surprise when it gets to your door because it's not the same kit that everyone else has gotten and there aren't sneak peek pictures online. So it's a really cool way to get what you love but still be surprised every month. Now for my August kit, this is my first kit with them and I am on their new design team for the upcoming year. And in my style profile, I told Allison that I really love thicker phrases and really florally and sparkly things. I have a very feminine style when I scrapbook and that I would be documenting a trip I took to Florida and meeting my baby niece for the first time. So Allison sent me this note with my kit and it says, Hi Laura, I hope you love your very feminine first kit. I included some tropical embellishments and motifs to help you with your Florida photos and stuck to crisp whites with some fun floral patterns. And she said that because I told her I don't really like off-whites unless it's Maggie Holmes. I prefer super bright whites. And then she went on to say, I included some of your faves, thicker phrases, sequins, die cuts, and some 3D stickers with a handmade feel. I also sent the exclusive August cut file. Enjoy. I've got this handwritten note from Allison and then their We Appreciate You card. And the first thing we've got are custom sequins from Spiegel Mom Scraps. And this mix is called Hey Baby Baby. And as you can see, it's got light pink and light green. It is super pretty. I'm excited about that. And the name Hey Baby Baby is perfect because I'm going to be documenting meeting my baby niece. And it looks like there is a lot of crepe paper wild heart in this kit. So that's pretty exciting. I don't have any of this collection yet. First, there are the paper clips, and they're really cool. They're kind of like epoxy embellishments on top of these rose gold paper clips. Super fun. And then there are these really pretty 3D rosettes. And, oh, I love that one a lot. It says, wild at heart, stay wild, hello. And that one just has a heart. I love all the different colors and patterns in this. And then from Pink Fresh Studio, there are some stitched hearts. These are really pretty. I love using hearts and stars in my layouts. Then I've got some Heidi Swap Freeze stickers, and this is probably what I'm most excited for this month. I cannot wait to see all the phrases here. Oh, wow, there's so many of them in this. There's Heart Eyes, Embrace, Bloom, Babes, Tribe, All Good, Live More, Flashback, Simplify. I absolutely love these free stickers. These are going to make a lot of layouts. Holy to moly. Super cool. Love those. And then from Heidi Swap, I've got an ephemera pack here. And I don't know what collection this is from. It doesn't say on it. So there's a closer look at all of the stuff included. There are a lot of flamingos and flowers and palm leaves. Super cool. Tons of pink. Perfect. And then for the papers, the first one I have is this Wild Heart one from Crate Paper. And this one is called Wildly. Love the tags and the Project Life cards. I've actually seen this one around online and I love it. This palm tree one especially. Adore. I'm really excited I got this paper. And it's got a really pretty black and white on the back. So that's going to be great for the for the cards that I won't use. And the other ones I can use in my Project Life. So that's awesome. Next, there is this paper from Chamel, Box of Crayons. And this paper is called Promise. It's a really bright, girly, floral pattern. And I love all the colors. I love how rich the colors are. And I love the really fun design. It's a very playful floral print with some oranges in it too. And then we've got this floral paper by Pink Paisley. It's the Paige Evans Pick Me Up collection, paper number 23. It's got really pretty florals and some herons on it. And then a really pretty ombre 
red purplish pink on the back. From Pink Fresh Studio, the simple and sweet line, we've got the Fresh Air Paper. Super pretty, tons of little tickets that can be fussy cut out and a really simple grid on the back with light blue. And then again, from Pink Fresh Studio, we've got this really pretty citrus pattern from the Simple and Sweet line. And this paper is called Good Things. And then from Crate Paper, this is Maggie Holmes Flourish. Ooh, I love Maggie Holmes. And I also love this paper. It's so pretty. I feel like it's so pretty, it would have to be like a mini book cover or like an art journal cover like it has to be out front and center on display it's so pretty and then from crepe paper here in their collection there is this paper called adventurous i love this side and this one this one's really pretty too pink and green and then all of these fun little vacation and touristy type of cutouts here Pink Fresh Studio from the Let Your Heart Decide collection, and this paper is called Instinct. It's a really pretty floral. Then we've got another crepe paper paper by Maggie Holmes Flourish, and this one's called Poetic. I love this giant blue floral. And this is the exclusive August cut file that she included. I love that this is included. So it is cut out of basil cardstock, and I'm super excited about this because I do not have a Silhouette or a Cricut or an electronic die cutting machine. So the fact that you have the option to get this sent to you is really cool because then you don't need one. And I'm excited to see how I use this. It almost looks like little waves. So that would be really good for documenting my Florida trip and the times we went to the beach. Then we have got this paper by Echo Park. It's called A Perfect Winter. Yeah, I guess it's the ice blue paper. The back doesn't have a name. And this is gonna be really pretty, I think, with this wave paper for documenting stuff at the beach. And then we've got a plain pink cardstock. So this is what my first month with the wild hair kits looks like, my August 2018 kit. I am so excited for all of these colors and floral patterns, and I cannot wait to share what I make this month and all of the projects that I am going to create using this kit. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel if you wanna see all of the really cool stuff that I make with these products, and check out the Wild Hair Kits on Instagram or their website to see what a customizable kit could do for you. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.